Hi, and welcome to Casual DIY channel. Today will be the first video of my series where I'm going to present some unboxing and a tool review. In this case, it uh, will be the whole whack because I actually uh, just managed to obtain a 10-inch um, premium bandsaw from Charnwood B250. I'm really excited about it because, um, as you know from my previous videos, I was quite desperate to get a bandsaw and um, hopefully this will meet my expectations and it will be a good tool in addition to my shop so uh, stay tuned and let's unpack this bad boy so let's have a look at the uh, bag of goodies so obviously we've got some uh, paperwork that usually goes with with some tools um, Festal I actually um, got this bandsaw from West Country Machinery for wood um, I've ordered it on Sunday it's uh, Tuesday today so very quick delivery I'm really pleased with that obviously my invoice and uh, and we've got the uh, by the looks of things I think is the instructions yeah, how to set it up and everything. So we'll go through that. Looks quite complicated, but hopefully it ain't. Right, so let's get the uh, paperwork onto one side. So let's have a look what we've got. Mighty gauge. It actually looks pretty robust. Uh, quite surprised with it, how uh, good it looks. Hopefully it will uh, work as good as it looks. Fingers crossed anyway. So what next? Oh, we've got the table. Tell you what, it's uh, fairly heavy, which is always a good sign for your tools. If it's uh, not made of plastic, you know, it will last you a long time. So that's the table. Uh, again, looks pretty robust to me. Hopefully it will, uh, it will be like that. So let's put that to one side there. Um, push stick, I think I've got uh, six of them now. So another one to the addition to the collection. Some bolts and screws and everything else. I believe, yeah, this is the the front of the table where you've got your scales and everything looks pretty good so far I'm not sure what are oh, these are the legs I think for the stand let's put that there that's the uh, rest of the legs Some more legs. And we've got the fence as well. I did hear some mixed opinions about the fence system on this tool. That it needs a bit of calibration, it takes a while to set it up, but do you know what? For for that price I've bought it, I don't think I'm gonna moan if if it will just take some more time to set it up but it will actually work correctly as it should do now i've got no problem with that right let's take that out now 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 look at this bad boy looks absolutely awesome let's get it out So here it is, my brand new Charnwood 10 inch premium bandsaw B250, let's get it out, 
Let's see how it performs. I actually managed to get this as a uh, package deal, so I've got two more spare blades. Um, so hopefully um, I made the right choice here. So this is what you can find in the box. And uh, let's put it together. Okay, and there it is, standing on its own legs now. Um, I already had a bit of a play with the bearings here, just adjusting them so as the blend blade runs, it uh, runs smoothly and accurately. So I've adjusted um, both of these bearings. Uh, the back one was set up okay. Um, same with the ones at the top, I only had to use the one on the left so not a massive problem you know it's one of the things you need to do when setting up any machinery so uh, at the minute it looks good so we're going to put the uh, table in now And the build is complete. Um, it wasn't too bad. The instructions were quite clear, so it's not took me that much time to uh, set it all up. So um, the last thing I need to do. So the fence, as you've seen, it's as fine as parallel. There's no issues with that. The guards and everything run smooth. So um, the last thing I need to do is just uh, make sure the blade is tensioned correctly, and we can do some uh, test cuts. Okay, so to um, tension the blade is actually a fairly simple thing to do. Um, you can just open that up and it's basically that knob at the top. You can uh, um, clockwise it tensions the blade, anti-clockwise obviously it will uh, loosen the blade. Um, I've already tensioned it uh, so, you know, hopefully it's good to go and I can't wait to get this bad boy on the go. Have a look how it works. Okay, so let's go with uh, something nice and simple, bit of pine. Let's just see um, how it performs.
a problem at all. So uh, let's try this way. Again, no issues. So now let's try the fence, see uh, how that works. Again, no issues, and uh, apart from a bit here, fairly clean cut actually, to be fair, quite impressed with that. Okay, now we're going to try a bit of hardwood. I've got this uh, scrap piece of oak, see how it performs with that. Again, absolutely no issues. Uh, the machine is a bit loud, but you know, to be expected really. Um, so let's try some fancy shapes, shall we? Let me just get a uh, bigger board and we'll try some shapes. Okay, let's give it a spin. Not bad, not bad at all. Quite impressed with that. Good stuff, I'm happy. Right, okay. Okay, so a couple of features. Uh, we've got a dust collection. As you can see, it actually managed to collect some dust, which uh, is not too bad actually. Um, over here, you've got the access to the uh, lower panel. These knobs uh, will adjust the, uh, the scales here. Um, uh, with this model, you actually got a bit of light, which is always handy, and a flexible cord like that. If you're doing some really intricate work that needs a lot of precision, it's uh, quite a nice bonus. Obviously, you've got the uh, knob to uh, get that up and down. It's fairly easy to adjust um, the whole saw really to be fair. I didn't have much issues with it whatsoever. I've um, already shown the inside here. You know, all in all it looks like uh, it's gonna be an absolute brilliant um, addition to my tool set and I'm really happy with it so Fingers crossed, it will serve me a long time and you're going to see some really cool projects that I'm going to make using this piece of kit. On the back obviously you've got the push stick hang and at the back of the machine you've got a nice holder for the keys so that's not too bad at all. Obviously the engine at the bottom, that's the screw if you want to um, change the speeds. You've got um, 400 RPM and 800 RPM that will adjust the bottom wheel and you also got an extraction system that's quite nice not noticed that before different sizes of hoses so that's quite handy i'm definitely going to plug my um, extraction system to that and obviously you can tilt the table to a 45 degree angle always helpful you know if you're doing some work like that 
uh, if you're changing your blade that will adjust the the wheel the top wheel as well so uh, some pictures as well at the back of the machine to indicate what's what and how to use it um, quite helpful actually you know you not always have to go back to your um, main support on the website or instructions so guys uh, this is Charnwood B250 10 inch premium bandsaw so the setup and the, uh, you know out of the box uh, it's not too bad to get it up and running to be fair it doesn't take that long um, probably the longest was to set up the the table itself so it's parallel to the blade um, maybe the fence as well a uh, bit of work there but all in all it's um, it looks to be quite a good tool so obviously I've done some testing use different types of woods um, uh, out of the camera so I'm you know you don't get bored and it, it works fine it cuts well there's you know there's no issues with it whatsoever on hardwood or on, on anything else on pine thickness obviously with this model you can actually go 15 centimeters which is about I think six inch of um, of cutting depth so that's quite good for this size of, um, of a band so so for the price I think it's gonna be quite a good tool obviously it's too early to say if it's gonna break or if there's gonna be any more issues but this moment in time I give it a thumbs up I give it five out of five I've not seen any major issues or problems that I, I would uh, consider to be a backdrop to this tool so at the minute I do recommend it but in time, if I will come across any issues with it, I will let you know and we will adjust the review score. So stay tuned for another video. Hope to see you soon. Take care.